thank you so much for taking the time to hear the powerful word of truth from Prophet Bishop H. Walker. By way of special announcements, join Prophet Walker at True Life Pentecost Church every second Sunday of each month in Atlanta, Georgia at 957 Metropolitan Parkway at 4.30 p.m. Also join in with True Life every fourth Sunday of each month in Charlotte, North Carolina at 300 North Tryon Street located at the Public Library of Charlotte. For further details, go to www.truelightpentecost.org and click on announcements for any current events. Thank you so much for supporting Prophet Walker and the True Light Ministry. Be encouraged and be blessed. You are now viewing Prophet H. Walker and True Light Pentecost Church. Those that are viewing and seeking after righteousness Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Then said Jesus unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. If any man will come after me, in other words, anybody seeking the face of God and will follow God, according to Scripture, he has to what?
collectively he loves all of us but he died just for you amen, amen. amen. praise God and uh, God uh, allows us to have our various testing trials yeah. but through it all he promised to deliver amen. He never failed. He promise. our problem is in failing God amen. but nobody has to fail their calling because you were called by an individual calling. God chose you from amongst them. And he has a work for you to do in the kingdom. And when God spits the sky and comes back, he's got to find you working in the kingdom. Amen. You can't just be sitting there hoping and praying, well, I'll be there when the service is over. Amen. What is it that you have to do more important than being in the house of God? Lifting up the name of Jesus. Church, let's get rid of all type of fleshly activities, and especially in our mental self. Amen. Let's learn how to pick up our responsibility and follow after God with joy and thanksgiving. Amen. Herein lies your blessing, and the end results to receive your blessing is when you learn how to praise God through the storms of life. Amen. Amen. Anybody can praise God, and I've said this on many occasions, when everything is going right. right. Mm -hmm. But how many can praise God when everything's going wrong? All right. Amen. All right, prophet. Preach it. And nothing going wrong. But Lord, I thank you. For what? For being God. Amen. Yes, Lord. Being my Savior. Yes, Lord. Being a present help in a time of need. Amen. Yes. Allowing for my blessing to be coming around the corner. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yes. I can't touch it, but I can see it in my spiritual eyes. Yes, Lord. Because God made a covenant promise. Yes, Lord. If God promised you something, thank you. Yes. All right. And wait there. Yes. You know, you didn't get it last week or last month or even last year. That was your life. Amen. No, I didn't get it last week. I didn't get it last year. All but right. This is a brand new day. Yes. Amen. Brand new year. Amen. Amen. I'm looking for something I did not receive. I'm looking for this year. Yeah. Amen. 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 Church in Charlotte. Yes. Amen. Church in New York City. Yes, Lord. Church in Washington D.C. Yes, yes, Lord. Looking for that faith, God, that interstate bus. We're going to have it. Yes, yes, Lord. 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 Yes, until the Lord decides Amen. how this is right for you right now. Amen. And it's always going to be right right now. All right. Amen. Amen. Oh, praise God forever. Amen. Amen. Let me get to my text here. Uh, if you take note in chapter 16, verse 24. Then said Jesus unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. If any man will come after me, in other words, anybody seeking the face of God and will follow God, according to scripture, he has to what? Deny himself. Deny himself. Now, often we've reflected on that self-denial. Mm -hmm. Deny yourself means you give everything of your worldly desire and you focus in on the spiritual values of God, the heavenly values of God. 
you can't clutter up your mind trying to walk a double life. Amen. You, you can't claim all of these material things and then still claim the kingdom of God. Right. You got to give up something. A dollar ain't gonna go. You, 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 you can't give a, 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 a dollar to the devil and a dollar to God because you ain't got but one dollar to give. All right, prophet. You ain't got one soul. Yeah. Give it to the Lord. Yes. And learn again how to do it with Thanksgiving. Yes. Yes, many of you are going through difficult situations. But that's the time to get happy. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Things kind of hit this week. All out of order and everything looked like everything was just trying to fall apart. Amen. 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 Went to get a car and got the wrong car. And, amen. Amen. And went to have band practice and nobody showed up but the leader. Praise the Lord. Amen. Peace. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Things just things happen like this. Yeah. But when I began to think in a negative context, some said get happy. Amen. I put a big bunch of happy. Go home all the way down. Yeah. Got my phone off and real happy. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> How to trust God all your heart, mind, and soul, and the devil never will come you. Yeah, but once you allow the devil to get a seed in you, where he can begin to whisper to you and talk to you, oh, you know this ain't working, that ain't working. Watch that now, watch that. Mm -hmm. It's going yeah, to happen. A Praise God. Next thing you know, you're going to be miserable all the time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. How can somebody yeah. full of misery ever please oh, God yeah. and his kingdom? Yeah. Amen. It can't be done. Oh, church, listen to me this morning. Let a man deny himself, man and woman. Deny himself. I didn't say deny himself. Yes. Deny himself. Him is singular. Him, yes. That means you. Yes. I told you God is your personal savior. Okay. He died for you. You the one have to deny yourself. And read. And take up his cross and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. And whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall save Oh, glory. Hallelujah. When you get yourself tied up in Jesus, and yes, you lose the life in this material sense, in this calm sense, but you gain a spiritual life, which the end result is eternal life in heavenly places forever. Learn how to develop a mindset where you trust in nothing but God and His promises. And then you show me anywhere down the line where God ever failed. God ain't never failed. It's people who fail God. God don't fail people. Amen. But this is why we are chosen and set apart. Let me connect this with Acts uh, chapter uh, 20. Jump right in. Chapter 20. Chapter 22. And I want to read from verse 6 straight down to verse 14. And it came to pass that as I made my journey was come nigh unto the master. Pay attention now. About noon, suddenly there shone from heaven a great light round about me. Yes. And I fell unto the ground and heard a voice say unto me, Saw, saw, why persecutest thou me? And I answered, Who art thou, Lord? And he said unto me, I am Jesus of Nazareth, whom thou persecutest. Uh -huh. And they that were with me saw indeed the light and were afraid. If you're not saved, you persecute in the house of God. Yeah. Read. But they heard not the voice of him that spake. Wait, I'll read that again. And they were, that were with me saw. Now he was with a group of men. Uh huh. Saw indeed the light and were afraid. They saw the light and were afraid. But they heard not the voice of him that spake to me. Because it wasn't to them. All right. All right. All right. Sometimes you could be in church and hear the message, but if the message ain't to you, don't worry your mind about it. Amen. God has something for Saul to do. God has something for you. Everybody in this church, God has something for you to do in the kingdom. And at the proper time, he'll call you. And I know he already has. How do I know? Because that's why you're sitting here in the house of the right now. Because God called you. And you obeyed that calling. But now here's the thing. The devil will always come and try to tell you, well, maybe this is not for you. Maybe maybe, maybe you shouldn't have. Brothers and sisters, don't get swayed to the devil. God bless you for a reason. How many people are in a holiness church, a true holiness church? Few and far between. But he chose you out from amongst them. 
When God chose Saul, there was a group of people and everybody saw the light, but couldn't nobody hear the voice, amen, of God, but Saul because that's who he was calling All and right. that's who he was speaking to. Amen. When he spoke to you, your mother couldn't hear, your father couldn't hear, your uncle couldn't hear, your best friend couldn't hear. Couldn't nobody hear but you. Amen. And when you tried to discuss it with them, they told you, oh, don't go in that hole in this church. Uh -huh. What's wrong uh -huh. with you? Yeah. Hallelujah. But you found yourself here. Oh. Even sometimes you said you wasn't going, you went anyhow. Yeah. Yeah. You said you wasn't going to stay, but you're still here. Yeah. 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 Oh, church, when you learn how to deny yourself and pick up your cross and follow after God, I want you to understand there are going to be difficult situations in your life that's going to arise. But you can't solve certain problems for life, but God can. You can't heal cancer, but God can. You can't heal a, 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 a bad heart, but God can. You, you can't heal diabetes, but God can. Hallelujah. You can't heal a troubled mind, but God can. When you learn how to lean on God and give everything over to Him and pick up your responsibility and follow after Him, everything is going to be all right. When I say all that, I'm telling the kingdom. Now, you say they're all right in your earthly journey. But it's still all right in your earthly journey, even though you're going through various yeah. tests and trials. But God will always make a way to escape. Yeah. But we've got to understand, church, that when he calls you, don't accept any type of negative talking or spirits or influence yeah. that will come against you. Yeah. Learn, and if you get on that internet, you've got to learn how to take the bitter with the sweet. Yeah. And sometimes it's best, hey man, if you ain't strong in your in your, in your your countenance with God, sometimes it's best to leave that in, in Alone. And especially at Facebook. I tell you, they have you scratching your head and wondering how in the world can people have so much hatred? But brothers and sisters, listen, we ain't going through nothing yet. Amen. Wait till the devil starts trying to close church doors as he's trying right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is one reason why I'm glad I never went for that C3 or whatever they call it when the government gives you money. I'm so glad they never gave me that. Now. And anytime you speak out against the wrongs of the world and they accept the wrongs of the world, then they'll come against you and close the church down. Yes. And then they say, where is your God? Now we can close you down. Where is your God? He's alive and where? But we didn't follow his instructions. But when you follow his instructions, and you hide yourself behind the blood covering. Brother says they'll never close the door to that. And I tell Miss Obama and Miss Clinton, Clinton, if she calls, you'll never close the doors to that. Amen. Because we're going to serve God. We're going to pick up our cross and we're going to live according to the statutes of God. We're not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. In the power of God for salvation, to everyone that believes. And I believe the word of God. That's why I came out of darkness. It is not this way. I learned how to pick up my call, how to handle my responsibility, and to follow after God. And I'm still not ashamed. I don't have no sad story. I'm still altogether happy in Christ Jesus. Because I know what I know I know. That my Jesus lives. I'm just keep out of the God. Hallelujah. He's alive. 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 I know how to do it, but I know how to do it. The Bible says so. And I testify that you're the record of it. There's no weakness in Christ Jesus. We don't stand up and have that moment. Oh, yes, there are few in them. But was he not the tall of you? Yeah. Was he in the crowd? Didn't God single him out? Yeah. Right. And I believe we told, amen, I read on, y'all, in Acts, uh, in the 27th chapter, read on, pick up in verse 12. And what Ananias said, devout man according to the law, having a good report of all the Jews who dwelt there, uh -huh. came unto me and stood and said unto me, Brother Saul, receive thy sight, and the same hour I looked up upon him. Now, it was not only a physical blindness he had, but it was also... A mental blindness, spiritual yeah. blindness. Uh huh. And he said, "The God of our fathers has chosen thee. God has chosen thee. That thou shouldest know. Did I tell him. you God chose you? Yeah. He didn't yeah. choose the rest of the men that was with him. He chose one. Yeah. 
Amen. He chose you out from your family, not from that crowd, not from where you was at, and brought you into holiness. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Don't you know when God calls you, you got to do something about it. Yes. Hallelujah. You got to make your presence known unto the devil what? by rejoicing and praising God yes. and thanking God and standing yes. holy. Yes, Lord. Don't come to church. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Yes. 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 I'm going to clap. What are you happy about? I'm going to clap. Hallelujah. I'm going to sing this song. If I don't sing it to anyone, I'm still going to sing this song. Amen. I'm going to clap my hands and stomp my feet. Everybody sit there. You never know that you're happy. You create your joy. But knowing God made a promise to you, can you hear me what I'm saying? If he chose Paul, did he choose you? Amen. I'll read. Verse 14. And he said, Because my fathers have chosen thee, that thou shouldst know his will. And oh, oh, that thou should know his. Mm. Oh, mm. Hallelujah. Yes. Give me Matthew 7, chapter. Amen. I, I got to go in some deep water. Matthew 7, chapter. You write up in verse 18. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth That's why fruit. the gospel changes. The character of the individual Amen. to make that tree, and ain't talking about a tree now. Amen. Make that soul correct in Christ Jesus. Read. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Cast where? Into the fire. Into the lake of fire. Yes. Uh huh. Wherefore, by their fruits you shall know them. I said, by their lifestyle, mm -hmm. you know if a person is saved. Amen. Never believe that lie that they're teaching. Once saved, always saved. Just repeat a Bible verse and you saved. Confess Jesus as Lord and you saved. Yeah, you got to confess Jesus as Lord, but there's something else you got to do after you confess. You got to start living something. Amen. And that's what they're not teaching you today. You got to live something for the Lord. Watch what you read. Not everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Oh, I hope you Baptists can you read that for yourself. It's King James Bible. It's uh, chapter, Matthew's Gospel, chapter uh, 7, verse what? 21. Verse 21, uh-huh. It's the same in your Bible if you got a King James Bible. Amen. Not everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father... Now, there's, there's that will again. <laughs> Paul was chosen to do the will of the Lord. Amen. You are chosen to do the will of the Lord. Yeah. Where is the will of the Lord found okay. in the Bible? Yeah. Amen. Amen. I'm saying, brothers and sisters, we are handpicked. And don't never worry about your problem. Amen. Learn how to handle it in Christ Jesus and count it joy. Yes. The more problems that you go through, the happier you ought to get. Can you hear me so? Yes, Lord. The more you get oppressed. And depressed, the more they attack you on your job, the happier you are to be. And when you come to church, you're doing this fire for Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Paul had that thing so deep down inside of him, he went to Rome and escaped with his life. And God turned around and said, You got to go back again. He said, If I go back this time, I won't escape. No, you won't escape, but you'll receive a crown. Hallelujah. Timothy, I follow good. I kept the faith. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. What a testimony. Yeah. I kept the faith. Yeah. But you can't do it unless you're willing to pick up your cross mm -hmm. and follow after God. I thank God Amen. Paul picked up his cross. Yeah. I thank God he instructed us how to pick up our cross. Yeah. I thank God I'm not going to let the devil take my cross. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah. I'm going to fight for it. Oh, devil, you can't take my genius. You can't take my cross. You can't take my church. I refuse to let you take it. Oh, my God, I got a blessing. I got a blessing coming. And the devil can't take it because God got all power and everything in heaven. He didn't have that cross. And the living God. I trust in him. I lean on him. So the cross is a part of my responsibility. So I can't let you take away my responsibility by trying to tell me half truth and slander version of the gospel. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I know I got a responsibility. Amen. If I don't sing in a heavenly voice, I still got a responsibility to sing. Amen. I can't keep my mouth closed. Amen. Hallelujah. I got to do something for the Lord. I got to make up my mind sometime to come down here and get a vacuum cleaner. Right. I don't have to wait for somebody to tell me, have you vacuumed last week? All right. Have you picked up the trash this week? All right. Why do you have to have somebody to tell you? All right. If the grass needs cutting, you don't need nobody to say, well, then it ain't my turn. 
Alright. Definitely won't cut it, that's for sure. <laughs> Whose turn is it? <laughs> well, ain't nobody here, but me and the lawnmower. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. You gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> oh, I know that. That's good. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Y'all might as well say amen. 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 And we ain't gonna say talk about no lawnmower. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Ain't nobody here to transport the kids. Amen. <laughs> but I got some transportation and some gas. And, and I don't always have to say, well, wait a minute, I'm going to pick them up, but who's going to give me the gas? Amen. If you got gas in the car. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Now, if you don't have no gas, I will tell you, God will provide a way. Amen. Church, learn. How to be responsible. Yeah. Amen. Learn how to shoulder your cross. Amen. Learn that God and his kingdom is the only thing on this earth that matters. Amen. And I will not put nothing ahead of God and his kingdom. Amen. Amen. I'll pick up my cross. I don't care how heavy it gets. It can't get too heavy. Because all you got to do is reach back and get Jesus. Yeah. I'll do that. If your burdens are heavy, and your burden, praise God, is multiplied, Amen. God said, give it over to me. He'll take, he'll take it, Amen. and he'll show it, but he's not going to shoulder all your responsibility. He'll just Amen. be with you in your time of need. Amen. On here, far away, Suffering and shame, but I love.
stripped of his clothing, left naked, humiliated, because he saw a church. He saw people that he could be redeemed. Hallelujah. The Bible said he could have summoned 10,000 legions of angels. for taking the time to hear the powerful word of truth from Prophet Bishop H. Walker. By way of special announcements, join Prophet Walker in True Life Pentecost Church every second Sunday of each month in Atlanta, Georgia at 957 Metropolitan Parkway at 4.30 p.m. Also join in with True Life every fourth Sunday of each month in Charlotte, North Carolina at 300 North Tryon Street located at the Public Library of Charlotte. For further details, go to www.truelightpentecost.org and click on announcements for any current events. Thank you so much for supporting Prophet Walker in the True Light Ministry. Be encouraged and be blessed. Blog Talk Radio.